AMD's Matisse refresh CPUs, which include the Ryzen 9 3900 XT, the Ryzen 7 3800 XT, and the Ryzen 5 3600 XT have once again been benchmarked and this time we get to see both single core and multi-core performance results in the refresh lineup of Geekbench. Now AMD officially announced this Ryzen 3000 XT Matisse refresh lineup a few weeks back and the lineup consists of three processors based on the 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture but feature a slightly enhanced design This just allows for higher boost clocks than their Ryzen 3000 X series brethren. While availability is planned for the 7th of July, users will have to wait till then to see if the new processors are worth buying as reviews are planning to go live the same day as the launch. We have seen some performance benchmarks leaks before, but the latest single and multi-core tests have been spotted within the Geekbench database by none other than Tomb Apisac. There are benchmarks of each CPU on the same platform, so performance should be somewhat consistent. The test setup is made up of a Gigabyte X570 Aorus Master Motherboard along with 64 gigabytes of DDR4-3200 memory. In terms of performance, the single and multi-core performance results compiled in a single picture, which is on screen now. First of all, the slower speed memories will definitely lead to lower performance output on the Matisse refresh family, but Tumapasek also shared scores of a Ryzen 9 3900 XT operating with the same system, same X570 or a motherboard with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3600 memory, but it produced slower performance than that with the 3200, whatever. So summing up the benchmarks, all three come close to the 1400 points mark in single core CPU performance with the Ryzen 5 3600 XT falling slightly behind due to the slightly lower TDP of 95 watts compared to the 105 watt TDP of the 3900 XT and the 3800 XT. In multi-core CPU performance, the Ryzen 5 3600 XT scores up to 7914 points while the Ryzen 5 3600 features multi-score averaging around 75 to 7600 points marking about a 5% of performance uplift at 100 MHz boost. While the 3800 XT scores 97, 95 points, which is around a 25% increase over the 3600 XT and 8% uplift over the 3800X, which averages somewhere around the 9,000 point mark. In the same manner, the Ryzen 9 3900 XT scores up to 12,970 points, which is a 32% increase over the 3800 XT and around a 65% increase over the 3600 XT, which it does have twice the cores and twice the threads. But the 3900 XT is around 5% faster than the 3900X, which scores around 12,300 to 12,500 points in the same benchmark. AMD themselves claim a 4% average performance improvement in single-threaded workloads while featuring a 40% increase in power efficiency than competing chips. While the boost clocks look good on paper, it should be noted that these processors will live alongside the existing Ryzen X series family, which will have massive price cuts up to $100 over the official MSRP. The new CPUs will retain the MSRP prices while at $499 for the 3900 XT, $399 for the 3800 XT, and $249 for the 3600 XT, making them a hard purchase over existing parts in terms of their value proposition. Love to hear your thoughts on that one. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.